It's not yet the middle of winter, but already the temperature in the Mongolian capital, Ulaanbaatar, is minus 27 Celsius. The government, though, has bigger concerns than the weather right now. The Tibetan spiritual leader, the Dalai Lama, is visiting. And wherever he goes, the anger of Chinese leaders is never generally far behind. We strongly urge Mongolia to keep in mind the big picture of maintaining healthy and stable bilateral relations and to keep their promises made on Tibet-related issues. Do not allow a visit by the Dalai Lama or support his clique in any way. Mongolian officials have stressed it's a purely religious visit. But China regards the Dalai Lama as a separatist, seeking to split Tibet from China. He fled Tibet following an abortive uprising against Chinese rule almost 60 years ago. Countering the influence of the Dalai Lama is a top priority for China's leaders. They routinely criticize his many overseas trips, and occasionally there are repercussions for the hosts. Mongolia's economy is in bad shape. Its leaders are currently negotiating a loan from China worth $4.2 billion. That aid package could now be in jeopardy. Yet despite that, some people say it was still the right decision to invite the Dalai Lama. I am a Buddhist and a simple believer. I'm so happy today to see His Holiness and to receive his guidance and blessings. I know the Chinese government wasn't happy about his visit, but I think it's wrong. We don't have to follow everything they say just because we need money from them. The Dalai Lama is especially revered here, where Tibetan-style Buddhism is enjoying a strong resurgence after almost being wiped out during communist rule that ended 26 years ago. He's been drawing big crowds, including this one at a sports stadium, ironically built with Chinese money. Mongolia and Tibet share a religion and other traditions, and occasionally they share China's anger as well. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera, Beijing.